Can you believe that a farmer's son founded France's hottest brand, Jack Moose? We can. Motherly love and the romantic capital of France, Paris, served as the brand's inspiration. If you can make it in Paris, you can make it everywhere, they say. So he did, and the brand is just getting started. Stay tuned as we examine Jack Moose's success story and what makes the French fashion powerhouse unique from all others. Despite not being as well known as some of the greatest brands in fashion, Jack Moose has created a reputation for itself during the past 10 years. Created by Simon Port Jack Moose, the exquisite talent of Paris has cemented its place in the fashion industry. Jack Moose has mastered the art of success, from creating the notorious little bag trend to shattering the internet with the most unreal runways. In the south of France, Simon Port Jack Moose was born in 1990. His upbringing in the countryside and the fact that both of his parents were farmers are thought to have had a significant impact on his aesthetic preferences. Jack Moose was a kid actress and model who, at the age of eight, wrote to another Frenchman, Jean-Paul Gaultier, whose sassy irreverence was a big influence, offering his stylistic skills. Explaining about the incident in a Vogue interview, he said, You know what was my argument in the letter? At my age, I'll be the youngest stylist, so maybe you'll have a lot of publicity around that. As a young child, Simon's desire to design clothing became ingrained in his head. At the age of seven, he made his mother a skirt out of a house curtain. Another motivation in Simon's life and profession is his love for his mother. The young Simon later turned his early views into a tribute to French women. It doesn't matter if they are from the countryside or Paris. What matters is the strange allure of French women's lives. Even though Simon loved his hometown, he was drawn to Paris. He thought that being in this metropolis would provide him with limitless opportunities and enable him to establish himself as a renowned fashion designer. At the age of 19, Jack Moose relocated to the center of the global fashion industry to pursue his design ambitions. However, the young artist's joy was short-lived when he learned that his mother had died in a fecal accident at the age of only 42. He founded his well-known fashion house Jack Moose in honor of his mother, the lady who still serves as his source of inspiration and motivation today. Jack Moose was only 19 years old and had only lived in Paris for one month. Despite all the challenges in life, he took a leap of faith. For a rookie designer, the practice was clearly missing, even if there was significant ambition. Simon asked his buddy, a seamstress, to sew a number of items in accordance with his sketches. This genuine innocence and openness can be seen in all of the designer's debut collections. They were really basic. The collection differed in the presence of a couple of seams and the absence of darts and looked like the children's applications. There is a less romantic explanation though. Simon lacked the funds. He says, At the beginning, when I had no money to make clothes that were really precise, the storytelling was stronger than the clothing. Everything was telling a story of this French girl. Not the Parisian girl, but the French girl. Adrien Joff, the husband of Comme de Garçon, remembers the young designer from a collection he had displayed in a Tokyo showroom. Here, the couple offered to assist him out by hiring him to work in the CDG Paris store as support. As he started to study the ins and outs of the business at the Comme de Garçon store in Rue de Faubourg Saint Honore, Jack Moose developed his own collections in his spare time. The artist began to really fly at that point. In 2012, Jack Moose debuted at Paris Fashion Week as one of the youngest people ever. His fresh perspective, original business plan, and distinctive point of view resonated with both the fashion audience and consumers, and industry insiders took note. He was given the opportunity to host a catwalk in his hometown in Marseille in 2017 by the prestigious Maison Méditerranéenne des Métiers de la Mode. And his spring-summer 2018 collection, dubbed La Bamba, was purchased by some of the biggest retailers in the world, including Selfridges, Moda Operandi, and Netta Porter. The Jack Moose saga had not only begun, but also left a lasting impression on the fashion world. The label is able to create something that not only properly balances the commercial and the intellectual aspects, but fuses the two into something solely original. It does this by fusing sensual minimalism with young freshness and playfulness. In each collection, Jack Moose creatively portrays the romantic tale of folklore and artistry from the French shore, drawing inspiration from his roots in southern France. Every runway presentation is intensely personal and intended to convey the designer's life narrative and worldview rather than just sell clothing. Jack Moose claims, I don't do garments, I do stories, and it's obvious that buyers can get enough of these tales. 
Simon Port planned a parade in Paris on June 24th to commemorate his brand's 10-year anniversary. There, he unveiled L'Amour, his brand new spring-summer 2021 collection. Due to COVID-19, only 100 visitors attended the performance, which was held in a wheat field an hour outside of Paris. Even with all the restrictions, Simon was able to create something so original and amazing that shocked the industry. Then again, the company Le Papier Collection debuted in fall 2022 in the surreal salt highlands of the Camar. Models descended from the middle hills to present a collection that featured tool, deconstruction, sheerness, and cloud-like outerwear against the backdrop of salt flats, which created an otherworldly scene. The fall 2022 collection established a fresh start for the designer and a new era for his brand. He demonstrated that he's anything but a one-trick pony, and despite being different from prior collections, the audience enthusiastically responded. Jack Moose stuck to his buy now philosophy and some items were gone as soon as the live event ended. The designs by Jack Moose are always undeniably fashionable, showcasing the female form in the most attractive way while also maintaining their commercial appeal and most importantly, wearability. It is a French idea with a very modern and quirky twist that differs from a lot of old luxury and the traditional Parisian brands, which historically have expressed themselves in a much stricter way. Jack Moo successfully creates true accessibility without sacrificing its luxurious image by playfully experimenting and making a statement with size and silhouette. Jack Moo himself clearly has a distinct brand identity and a compelling narrative to tell, and one of his talents is his capacity to communicate all of that through marketing. The brand has utilized and mastered social media to the fullest extent possible after truly realizing its potential as marketing medium. Jack Moose has been able to establish a strong online presence with an Instagram account that has 5 million followers, thanks to the power of community building for the digital era and an incredibly transparent story through social platforms. Jack Moose is by no means the only company to place bets in social media, but just as the designer's approach to design is unconventional, so is the method he takes to Instagram, where his personal account and the account for the brand are one and the same. The company is always accurately planning events and pop-ups that are all aesthetically dominant and ideally crafted to be shared and go viral in social media. For example, in December 2021, the brand presented all pink vending machines, open 24 hours a day, as the ultimate marketing strategy to reach millennials and Gen Zs. In addition, Jack Moose's price strategy exhibits an approachable luxury perspective. You can see the distinctive position the brand holds by checking the difference in the average price of the bag which is showed you at $640, with the price of a Saint Laurent bag which sells around $1,600. Its apparel selection likewise features a similar theme. Ultimately, this plan lays the groundwork for future growth and market share prospects as a growing brand popular among a young demographic or Gen Zs. Through his stories, Jack Moose has skillfully designed his own universe. All his stories about women himself, where he comes from, and everything he finds lovely and inspiring in the world have been transformed into an incredible body of work, and our only concern now is what his next move will be.